My name is Mike Hare of the Buccini Poland Group, and it's my great privilege to welcome you to Market Street. And the way Market Street can be, and will be, and should be for years to come. Full of people, full of entertainment, full of vendors, and full of new residents. Welcome to the new Market Street. We're pleased to be part of the Tuned In series and think it only appropriate that we cut these ribbons on these two new exciting projects in Wilmington as part of a Tuned In block party. We'd especially like to thank the In Wilmington campaign, especially our friends at Mobius, for managing the effort of Tuned In block parties and for spearheading the effort to revitalize entertainment throughout the city of Wilmington. It's very nostalgic for those of us who have Lost our hair to remember the days of the outdoor cabarets and the excitement that took place on this street and to see it coming back, and it should come back. Speaking of Wilmington's future and where we're headed, and we celebrate that future tonight, but it's also important to recognize where we've been. And uh, maybe I'm a little bit more nostalgic than most, but uh, coming here tonight, not that everyone can see this, but uh, this picture sits on my mom's bureau. It's very moving, those of you can see in front. It was uh, taken at Kenner's department store for Father's Day 1964. So I've been here before, and uh, we're here again for a very exciting and new day for this property. We celebrate Wilmington, and we celebrate all the people in it, and all the people here tonight who have been extraordinary partners for progress in this great city. Chief among them is our state's chief executive, a champion for all of Delaware, an advocate for the city of Wilmington, always there to drive a prospect, promote a prospect, and tell them all the good things about Delaware. To tell the Delaware story, to celebrate this great night, please welcome our governor, Jack Markell. Well, thank you, Mike. Great to be with all of you tonight. You know, I... I talked to the mayor a few weeks ago, and I said, if you think about all the mayors in the country who are mayors of a city of 70,000 people, if you have the opportunity to be the mayor in a town where you've got a major chemical employer, you've got some of the biggest banks in the world who employ thousands and thousands of people here, you've got, you've got the best law firms in the world right here in the center of Wilmington. You've got hundreds of millions of dollars of investment going in for new residences here and here and pretty soon a couple blocks in back of us. You've got thousands of people down at the riverfront that 20 years ago was just dilapidated. Nobody wanted to be down there. The progress is incredible. This, I understand, is his first new investment ground up of residential space in Wilmington in something like 50 years. And... We have amazing cultural outlets uh, from, from the, uh, the Grand, the Playhouse, the amazing, amazing Queen Theater, uh, a couple blocks down. I mean, there really is something uh, for everybody. You got the Art Museum a couple miles, if that, that way you've got the Opry, you got the Delaware Theater Company. We are fortunate indeed. And so what we really need now is we just need to have more and more people living here working here, playing here. Employment in Wilmington, uh, I believe, is at an all-time high. Uh, and so we want more of the folks who are working here to be living here. And now, thanks to this great project, and we're all grateful to the uh, Buccini Poland family for the investment in these beautiful new uh, residential units, new, more people are going to have the opportunity to, to, to live here. You've got hundreds of new school children just a couple, within a couple blocks of here. Uh, new schools that have opened up, several new schools who have, that have opened up just this year, uh, providing an opportunity for their teachers and others to live within just a few blocks of where they work. It's an amazing story. And the only thing that this story needs to get better is for all of us to have the confidence to spend our money here, to in, enjoy ourselves here, to eat out here, and to drive more people to, to live here as well. And that's where we all come in. 
And so we have amazing entrepreneurs. As I mentioned, I saw How Real a minute ago investing in the Queen. You've got the Buccini Polans investing in these facilities. And all that, all that these great retailers need is they need customers. And that's where we all come in. So let's spend our money after this event tonight. Let's keep coming back. Let's drive all of our friends and family and everybody else here. And let's celebrate together all of this wonderful new investment here in the city of Wilmington. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Governor. We have, as the Puccini Poland Group, have accomplished a lot in the last few years. As the Governor alluded, in addition to celebrating the projects we opened tonight, a month from now we'll gather just a little further down the block to introduce two, two, well, three more significant residential buildings in our city and hopefully a lot more to come in the near future. And for the past several years, we couldn't have had a more supportive city government. All the city departments have helped made this a reality. License and inspection, public works, the city fire department, the city police department, all led by our mayor, Dennis Williams. Mayor Williams, please come up. Thank you for your support and all you do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to thank all the stakeholders, the Bacini Poland Group, and I want to thank all the elected officials that are here for their commitment to work with us. Uh, I know it's been some difficult times with the department here, Rob, but I do believe that we're getting better and we're moving swiftly to get our licenses and permits done, something that I promised during the course of the campaign. But again, you look at Market Street. Market Street is alive and well, just like Wilmington's alive and well. This city is open for business. Ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to the negativity. We have a great city here, a great city. I've talked to several mayors. I talked to several mayors throughout this country. They would trade places with me anytime with two natural waterways, I-95, 495. We have some great things going on here. And I want to say we have good business folks, good elected officials, and we have teamwork. Don't listen to the peanut gallery. We are going to make this a great city, a destination place. Thank you. God bless the city of Wilmington. I have to reach down here and get my hot dog, by the way. There's somebody that supports local vendors right there. He bought, bought, a, hot, bought a hot dog. He took it to heart, Governor. Uh, someone who's also been very supportive of all that we've done, uh, the Puccini Poland Group, a great champion, not only for BPG, for the district that she represents, as well as the entire city of Wilmington. Please welcome the 4th District Council Member, Hanifa Shabazz. Good evening, everyone. When I first um, became the council member representing the 4th District, I remember the Bicini Poland Group had just started renovating an old business, the Delaware Trust Building, and made it to a residency. Then they built the sky rocket, the sky scraping high rises on the riverfront. Now we're filling it in in the middle and throughout the city of Wilmington and throughout, I think more than just here in the city of Wilmington. This is such a great, great thing that's happening here. It's making me think about the times uh, when I was a little girl, grew up here in Wilmington, what downtown used to be. It was the destination place for us to go after we finished our chores, when we got off the buses from school, we went to Federal Bakers, we went to the Grand Movies, we shopped at Kennard's, and what, that went away for quite a time. We thought, what happened to downtown? And with the great work of the Bicini Poland Group, the financial institutions, the elected officials, and all of us pulling together, and I want to make sure that we recognize those mainstay businesses that through all that we've gone through. Once well, we went through the downtown being a, a mall, it went back to be open street, and there's some businesses that stuck with us to make it happen. We have to continue to support those businesses and welcome the new businesses that are coming and the innovation that Wilmington is be, is, has become. We are a destination place. We're a small city with a big city feel. And it's all because of the great things we're doing as, as a collective. I'm so excited for another ribbon cutting happening in my district and that you, everyone enjoy yourself and make sure that you do uh, patronize all the new businesses and the venues here. Thank you. Thank you, Hanifa. Uh, for those of us that work at BPG, uh, 
if you can't feel the passion that Rob and Chris have for their hometown, uh, you're either asleep or dead. Uh, it is sheer force of will. And uh, all of us who work there feel it and know it. And all of us who live here are grateful that they have that force of will. The passion to reinvigorate the city in which they were born and raised and the city in which they've chosen to make extraordinary investments on behalf of themselves, the fellow principals, uh, investors, and partners. It's been extraordinary, and it's been a privilege to be a part of it. To talk more about these specific investments, please welcome my good friend, Bob Buccini. Mayor, you've uh, done a great job helping us rent these apartment buildings that we've been building. Over the last four years, there's 4,800 new jobs in the city of Wilmington, and one of the things that has been uh, helpful is obviously job growth. So we really appreciate that. The staff uh, that Jeff Flynn leads in the Economic Development Office, and because ultimately we can build uh, as many apartments as there are employees uh, in the city of Wilmington. So thank you very much for, for creating that uh, workforce or helping to create that workforce. And the governor who, as we all know, is a champion not only for the state, but for the city. He has, uh, he's tireless. He returns calls 11, 12, and then six in the morning, uh, and we can't ask for a better advocate for our city. Uh, the program that he and his team at the state implemented, the Downtown Development District, these two buildings that you see were recipients of them, and it's a perfect example of how a small portion of the total capital dollars of the project go a long way to create great looking product. So I really appreciate that as well, Governor, for, the, for the, all the support, both uh, financially and uh, also for your guidance. Um, I'd like to thank Beneficial Bank. Um, when we conceived of these projects um, a few years ago, it was as the uh, uh, recession was ending and there was a recovery. And Anthony Murphy, who's here at the, uh, on the dais, he really stepped up, stuck his neck out at a time where there were not a whole lot of people getting promotions for doing new construction loans. So I really want to thank you, Anthony, for having the courage to invest in our city. And thank you very much. and to Sean Finnegan, his colleague who is in, uh, in the crowd as well. Um, and then our, our leasing team who's done a phenomenal job in the city. They attract the best uh, type uh, of person, of diverse crowd of people, uh, people that you want as your neighbor. And I want to thank you, Melinda, and your whole team for being able to do such a great job. We've opened only a few weeks ago uh, the first building, 608 Market, and she's approaching 70% occupancy, and uh, it's really a phenomenal statistic. So. And I always want to thank our construction group. Um, they uh, have a tremendous personal sacrifice. As many of you know, if you work with us, it's a seven-day commitment. Um, it's uh, often more than 10, 12 hours a day. The time uh, frames to build what we ask them to build is uh, very short. And I wanted to thank Wes Schwant and his team for all the great work that they do. Uh, I'd like to thank our architectural team, uh, Blackney Hayes, uh, Kevin Blackney, he's a hometown person from Claymont, and I really appreciate his zeal that he has for his home state of Delaware. He did a fabulous job, especially in the renovation of the former Kennards building. Uh, when we first looked at that, it had seven or eight different levels, and he was able to figure out how to make it habitable, and I really uh, appreciate that, so thank you. And then, and then lastly, my brother, who was the visionary uh, behind Market Street, is actually starting to look like we envisioned it. So thanks, Chris. Thank you for everything. Walked away too quick there, Rob. Uh, Rob talked about, you know, the governor returning his calls at 11 and how impressive that was. He didn't mention that that's after he's called you four times between quarter of and 11. So, uh, force of will is a code word for pain in the ass, but uh, that's how things get done uh, around here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I do want to share with you a video now that kind of gives you the history, the construction history. If you can pull up, it's on this monitor here. I know it's a little bit tight, 
And if you stick around at 8 o'clock, we're also going to see the Big Bang Theory here. But uh, this is a uh, <laughs> kind of synopsis of the construction of these two projects. So if we can roll the tape, please. If only you could build a building that quickly, right? That was uh, extraordinary. <laughs> That's the expectation. Uh, we talked about the funders. We've talked about uh, the financiers. We've talked about the builders. We've talked about the architects. We've talked about all the partners in the crowd. I want to acknowledge one, especially Tatiana Copeland, the grand dame of Market Street, for what she has done, she and Garrett, to support the arts from the Grand Opera House, the Delaware Symphony, uh, to the Queen Theatre, their commitment to this community and enriching the lives of so many through the arts is extraordinary and we're so grateful that you're here tonight, Tatiana. Thank you. <laughs> Delaware Humane's new building as well. It looks fantastic. Our neighbors on A Street and uh, so extraordinary what uh, the family has done for our community. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge uh, on behalf of our great friends at Downtown Visions who asked us really to recognize the extraordinary partnership that uh, exists in our city, really between the joint efforts of Downtown Visions, Wilmington Renaissance, City's OED, uh, specifically in the Wilmington storefront project to try to revitalize the storefronts along Market Street and for all Downtown Visions does to revitalize downtown retail. Marty, Will, thank you very much for your leadership. We're proud to be part of that. I do uh, have a couple of uh, housekeeping items uh, before we uh, cut our ribbon. I want to make sure that everyone is uh, sure to grab a map from representatives on the event at the MKT table so that uh, you have a chance to win an iPad Mini. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, trivia involved and a little test, so if you could stop by the MKT test, which is MKT table, excuse me, which is directly in front of 608. There are tours available, and you want to stop there to get information for the uh, tour of both buildings. So we hope you'll take time and do that. With that said, if I can call uh, all of our folks up uh, on the stage to come around our ribbon, and we'll have our ceremonial ribbon cutting. Governor, Mayor, if you want to share the honors. And I'll give you a 3, 2, 1 countdown with everybody playing. I'll hold your laptop. That sounds dirty. <laughs> 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 Get in there. Is everybody, all our cameras ready? I will. Oh, uh, from 3 to 1. 3, 2, 1. God bless you. Another round of applause for all of our dignitaries on stage. Thank you all for being here. Please enjoy your night on Market Street. Thank you all for what you do for Wilmington.